Hey guys, how's it going? I forgot I did reviews. Um, and had a YouTube channel for a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, once again, I am Curio Sparta. Uh, if you're noticing the uh, different uh, accoutrement, uh, yeah, I moved again. So that would be the reason why I haven't had an update video in a while, so, or even a review or anything of that regards so uh sorry about that this is the next place for next <laughs> for the foreseeable future so i should be able i know i said it before but to keep doing some videos now so moving right along uh as far as today's um no, no real updates um as, as far as anything else is going uh, I, I just figured it's been a while i'd like to do a comic book review so um i had the opportunity to do that today now um most of you might be thinking obviously i'd be doing the uh uh, Villains Month, uh, that DC Universe story or whatever. So basically for a whole month there was nothing but like uh, DC Villain Origins, that sort of thing. Uh, I did read them all. I wasn't a big fan. That's that's why I didn't really end up doing a weekly review with that. Uh, <laughs> uh, to be honest, there was only really a, a couple that I liked out of it. Uh, Rid Riddler was definitely my favorite. Um, I liked Riddler a lot. Uh, even the Joker one, like, it was good, but it was so weird, even for a Joker story. It's just... just no. <laughs> I decided not to do that one. Um, so yeah, the only ones I really I actually dug were Riddler. Uh, Zod was okay. Actually, I was surprised, because... I wanted Zod. Um, so that was okay. Um, I need to reread uh, Reverse Flash. Uh, my one friend, Kid Remington, his, his channel's in the... Uh, you know, fellow nerds you should look at, but uh, he, he really dug it, so I, th I think I'll give it another look. I, I've, a couple of them I kind of glanced over, because, uh, to be honest, but yeah, I, all in all, DC Villains Month, villain, whatever, uh, not a big fan. Uh, obviously, the whole point of the month was to lead into Forever Evil. Uh, Forever Evil being this big um, New 52 DC thing where basically the Justice League loses... Um, oh, spoilers. Um, but you'll... T You'll see it, but apparently the Justice League is, is like done. They're all dead or something like that, and you know only really, I think Batman and somebody else got out of it. But you know, obviously it's DC. They're doing this to sell comics. I guarantee you, you know maybe some character will die, but they'll all be back anyway. Um, but during that, uh, one of the uh, comics uh, did kind of pique my interest, and actually, Kid Remington, thank you once again for bringing it to my attention. Um, but uh, Forever Evil has an Arkham War uh, side story going on. So uh, he picked up the first issue, said it was pretty good, So and it, and it came out today. Uh, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a quick once through. And to be honest, I, I liked it. It's off to a very good start. Um, you know, like, it, as, as far as, like, favorite comics go in the DC, like, I love me some Batman. Don't get me wrong. But most of the time, I, I kind of go towards the Batman villain. The villain stories, those ones, those ones are generally good. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good Batman stories, but give me good uh, DC villains. So, uh, yeah, comic book review. I haven't done that in a while. So, um, we're going to do Forever Evil Arkham War number one. Uh, there's the cover, obviously. Um, a little bit of a misleader. Uh, most of these guys do not show up in the issue. <laughs> but it does look pretty cool. Uh, anyway, so you know the simple review story. Um, I'll give you a quick review right now. I liked it. It's good. Pick it up, definitely. Or if you're into it, you know, wait and get the trade. It's something to do. Uh, and then, of course, we go in-depth, go through the whole comic page by page. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> um, so, the comic basically starts off with um, Gordon and his uh, lieutenant. I don't know her name. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but they're basically discussing how uh, apparently Bane has shown up and... Uh, broken into um, Blackgate Prison, and how it seemed very calculated, uh, very Bane-like. Uh, they knew the layout, they knew exactly what they were doing. And this is in the midst of, you know, uh, everything's already going to hell, because the Justice League's apparently gone, like like uh, Gotham City's like on reserve power. Um, just not a very good time for the city, and obviously the cops are trying to deal with it, because apparently, you know, Batman's dead. Um, so they're discussing that, yeah, when, when Bane already showed up, uh, like there'd already been rioting in the prison, like basically everyone had already broken out, so uh, he's just basically adding on to the mess. Um, Gordon and his uh, 
lieutenant. I think that's who she is. Um, but they're basically talking. Oh, Detective Pierce. There you go. It's Detective Pierce. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, they're uh, talking about how, you know, apparently... Uh, so, yeah, apparently the Justice League is dead, uh, lights are out, and Gotham's been uh, split between a dozen homicidal Arkham escapees. And our secret weapon is gone, probably for good. Batman. So everyone's pretty much assuming Batman's um, gone, and the whole Gotham City is just going to hell. Obviously all the Arkham guys have broken out, and they're each taking over their own separate territories. Uh, very No Man's Land-ish. Um, one thing you'll notice a lot with this, especially since... This first issue uh, focuses on Bane a bit. I, I was getting a lot of Dark Knight Rises, you know, kind of feeling from it. So, um, basically, uh, Bane has shown up and they're trying to figure out why. Uh, while this is going on, we cut to uh, the hospital, where apparently one of the uh, one of the newer Batman villains, I haven't been really checking out with, uh, Professor Pig, P-Y-G, uh, I love that spelling. Um, he's, he's basically took, taken over the uh, hospital and... He's just kind of messing around with people. Um, I'm not too sure what his modus operandi is. Uh, what, what I looked up on Wikipedia, apparently he's just out of his mind. Um, like he has a bunch of uh, people that he controls, uh, like through, um, he basically messes with their heads, puts doll masks on their faces that are like unattachable, like undetachable, that sort of thing. Um, just, a, just he's a crazy doctor. Um, and like the one guy he runs into, uh, who's, who's running away from him in the hospital here, uh, he's sewn his foot on his hand. So right here, it's a foot instead. Because uh, he's crazy! So uh, we go from that, uh, basically, uh, we, we, we cut to him basically getting yelled at by uh, Scarecrow, saying that like, uh, you know, you've uh, definitely messed up this place pretty good, and uh, they're actually expecting Bane to show up here. So um, Scarecrow's referencing uh, stopping by their mayor's office next. Um, I assume it's Joker or one of the higher-up guys that are already taken over. Um, until then, uh, yeah, uh, Scarecrow just tells him, yeah, just do some harm. Keep uh, keep wrecking Gotham City. And uh, um, Actually, I don't mind Scarecrow's uh, newer design. They keep making his eyes glow and stuff, and you get to see some of uh, Gotham going to hell, basically. Uh, we cut to Bane inside there, just, just wrecking crap. Um, just completely uh, destroying a bunch of people. And he says, are there any other fools left to challenge my authority? So I'm assuming Bane's showing up to basically take over Gotham. Uh, and I actually like uh, Bane's design in this. He's, you know, he's big, but he's like... You know, sometimes, like, I hate when artists get way too big with Bane. Like, he's not supposed to be like... That is, that's not how people physically get, but... Like, I understand Venom's supposed to be... Like, it's supposed to make you stronger, but Jesus... Um, so, I, I actually like this design quite good. It's uh, working out pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, Bane's basically just starts, uh, uh, you know, uh, throwing out orders. Um, he's got a, people, a bunch of people uh, focused here. And uh, he starts uh, discussing talons, the perfect weapons to take a city from the pillagers who stole it from me. Um, I'm talons. I'm not too sure. I'm assuming this might be some Court of the Owls kind of thing. Like I said, I, I I'm not too up to date with uh, New Fifty Two. Uh, besides Death of the Family, I wasn't I wasn't really even looking into it that much. Um, and then we get a nice cut. Uh, obviously, a bunch of different areas of Gotham City uh, taken over by different uh, you know people. Like we got Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, um, Man Bat, that sort of thing. Uh, we cut to Penguin, obviously, still in the uh, Iceberg Casino. He's with um, Scarecrow. And they're talking, and it looks like they have a little model. <laughs> they have a little model of Gotham City, and each one has, like, a stake in it with, like, whoever's taken over that area. Like, this is Zaz's area. This is Poison Ivy's. And then they proceed to just start stomping all over it and destroying it and all that kind of thing. Uh, we cut back to Professor Pig uh, coming back. Uh, into the hospital. He's eating, he's got like a tray of a bunch of random organs and he's drinking a pop. Like, once again, he's just, I don't know, he's just kind of crazy, I guess that's his whole thing. And then, uh, yeah, he comes in and Bane's waiting for him. <laughs> and uh, basically Bane tells him, yeah, you're no longer working for Scarecrow. What Arkham and its mad idiots thought it controlled is now mine, and you'll help me sped, uh, you'll help me spread the word, pig. And then uh, we cut to, uh, yeah, basically he just uh, beats the living crap out of Pig. His arm's clearly broken and everything. And 
Um, that's kind of where we end up. Uh, basically, the lunatics have been running over Gotham, and Bane is there to take Gotham back from the loonies. Uh, so, yeah. Um, to be quite honest, Forever Evil Arkham War number one, I dug it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I need to check out these other Forever Evils and see if they're really even worth reviewing. If you've you checked them out, obviously, I think they're up to issue two or three right now. Um, definitely leave me a message in the comments. I'd like to know. Because, um, once again, obviously, as far as comic book reviews go, I mean, I need to be kind of invested in it. So that's why when I saw Ar Arkham War, I figured, uh, you know, this is a good one to discuss. Um, besides that, um, yeah, I'd say if you're a fan of... <laughs> you know, Batman's Rogue Gallery, definitely check it out. Um, besides that, uh, once again, I am Kiriyama Sparta. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more reviews coming up here in the next couple days and next couple weeks. Obviously, I'm doing some new comic reviews. Uh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of other things to kind of go over. So, happy to be back. And, uh, yeah, if you had a good time with this video, hit that like or subscribe button. Always do appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for your guys' uh, patience, and I'll... Uh, have some more videos uh, for you guys down the road. You stay classy, YouTube.